Hi everyone and welcome back to my reaction channel. Today we are checking out Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Uh, someone recommended me this movie a while ago and I know nothing about this movie. I've actually never heard about this movie until they recommended it to me. And I'm actually very excited to watch it because Invasion of the Body Snatchers sounds like a very interesting title. Um, the only thing that I know about it is that I'm pretty sure it's a horror movie. The one that I'm watching is a, the 1978 version but I know that there is a old an older version that was made in the 50s in the 1950s uh, I'm not gonna watch that version though but I am gonna watch the 1978 version which is I think the version that you guys would want me to watch if I watch this movie if it is not I am sorry but that is the one that I have the most access to and the one that I think is the most relevant I think that is my that is my reasoning behind watching this version instead of the other one um, I haven't read the summary, and I don't know the cast, and I don't know the reviews for this movie, um, but I'm going to make a wild guess and say that this movie is about some sort of creature or alien or something that can basically take control of someone's body and look like them, kind of like The Thing, like John Carpenter's The Thing. That's my interpretation of the title. I could be super wrong and way out there and it could be about pink ponies and unicorns and dancing orangutans or something like that, <laughs> but I don't think it's going to be that. I think, I don't know. We'll see, I guess, when I, when I watch the movie. Also, if you like this movie or you want to watch me watch this movie for a longer period of time, you can check out my uncut, unedited reaction on Patreon right now. My uncut reactions on Patreon come out the same day as my reactions on YouTube. And if you'd like to watch this movie or any of my movies a week early, you can check them out on Patreon as well. If you sign up, you can watch all my movie reactions one week early. Pretty awesome. Pretty good deal. I'd say so myself. <laughs> Anyways, before we start this movie, what do you think we got to do? Yeah? The lighting. Ah, oh, you got it. The lighting. That's, that's good, right? <laughs> um, so let me just uh, turn on my light here. Nice, nice, nice. So the lighting today, I think I'm gonna go with a, a yellowy green. No, more like this color. Yeah, a yellowy green. Because, and hear me out, the cover of this movie, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the title is yellow, Invasion of the Body Snatchers is yellow, but underneath the title is a green rib cage with some sort of cactus looking blob thing and it is all green there is a pink flower on the blob thing but most of it is green and the title is yellow so yellowy green to incorporate the title to incorporate the green ribs and the green blob thing that looks like a shriveled prune so maybe the aliens are shriveled prunes the world is getting invaded by shriveled prunes that would make a lot of sense you know actually now that i think about it Shriveled prunes take over the <laughs> What am I even talking about? I'm sorry, this, this intro has taken a really long time. So I hope you enjoy my reaction to Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Okay, so Amazon Prime, that's what I'm watching it on, just gave me an age rating for this movie. 7 plus? What? I thought this movie was going to be rated R or something. What? 7 plus? Seems a little bit young. I'm going to say that looks like an alien planet. <laughs> Just going to use my big brain and say it's an alien planet. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. So those look like spores or something like that. Spores that are sent out into space. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum, I love that man. He must be very young in this movie. I recognize that name too, Leonard. Nimoy? Nimoy? Is he from Star Trek or something like that? Oh. 
Oh man, I hope there's some good practical effects. I love practical effects in like horror movies, sci-fi movies sort of thing. This movie's gonna make me stressed about leaves and flowers. Oh man, springtime's gonna suck. Oh no, the ladybug's about to die. Okay. Now are the flowers so that it blends in or are the flowers to attract people? Oh. Why? That looks so gross. Now you can take them home to your parents. So they smell nice. Don't take them home to your parents, kids. Pretend it's like an illegal drug. You don't want to bring that to your parents. I'm already pretty stressed with this movie. I know I'm gonna like it. Alright, out of way! <laughs> I hope he dies. I don't know why. I don't like him. Dangerous? In the garden. See? Look how quickly it moves. <laughs> this is really well framed. What? I can't believe these are the same I'm reading. Okay, I'll put the earphones in. There, see? Happy? It's like my brother. I'll be trying to do something and he'll just come into the room with his phone on max volume listening to TikToks or something. And I'm like, dude, I'm trying to watch something here. Very annoying. Possible. It's a secret, Mr. Bonnet. We don't have any secrets from the Department of Health, Henri. Ooh. A, a, a fresh bay leaf and garlic. That's all. Oui. Yes. That sounds really good. Oh, it's like Ratatouille when he eats the food, except I don't think he's going to like it. It's a rat turd. A what? A rat turd. Ew. Being a health inspector or something must be like a very bummer of a job, you know? Unless you like telling people that they are not good. Oh, what they do. <laughs> but also, I feel like you get treated very harshly all the time, so it sucks both ways. Stuff started before 8 o'clock. Stop, Matthew. Matthew, stop. I'm not coming in before 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Me in a school class? I'm not waking up till 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Oh my god, these shots are so good so far. Look at that mirror shot. Oh. The flower in the water, it's gonna go into him. Oh my god, he's so dead. Kind of excited. Duh! Stupid cut. The flower fell. Is it there? I bet it's not there. Jeffrey? Jeffrey? It's not him. The flower's in his rib cage. The prune. He has a prune cage now. What? Oh, it's the, uh, Wow, he's really disposing of it, isn't he? No evidence. The way this movie uses sound to portray the suspense and creepiness is really good. There hasn't been much soundtrack. It's really just been like amplifying different sounds throughout the scene, like the swing set, the clocks, the dog barking, stuff like that. Just giving it a very uneasiness, and it's really cool. I don't know. He was just weird. It's crazy. I'm all dentists are crazy. <laughs> Way usually, if something was different. Well, that could only be an improvement. 
Okay, so she works in microbiology. Okay, I thought she might have been a botanist or something. What? Ever seen one of these up close? What is it? What is that guy doing in the background? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was gonna say he totally bumped into onto what bumped into her on purpose. Oh, this is so creepy. Hey, come on, tell me what I've done. Everyone in there's a prune caged. Jeez, I think everyone in that unit was pruned except for um the health inspector guy. I can tell that there is something different. Something is missing. What? Yeah. Emotion, feelings. A normal rib cage. Prune caged. Whether Jeffrey was having an affair, whether he'd become gay, whether he would uh, had a social disease, whether he'd become a Republican. All the alternative. <laughs> Jeffrey is different because he is a Republican. If you're not crazy, you can do the thing with your eyes. Whoa! That's so cool! <laughs> do you think that's going to be used later to tell if she's a, a body snatched or not? Be like, if you're not, if you're real, do the thing with your eyes. <laughs> I love this, these guys as a relationship. I hope the boyfriend dies and is dead already so that they can get together because I like him and I like her a lot. Is Jeff Goldblum going to be the, uh, the uh, psychologist, the psychiatrist? I haven't seen him yet. That not my wife. I think the the other people working as well are body snatched. Cause when he when uh health inspector guy walked over to him, they were all looked at him. Ah, oh, creepy stuff. This trash guy is definitely a body snatched. Talk to me, Elizabeth. Is he dead? An affair? So creepy! People just looking at you in the background is so creepy! He's becoming a giant prune. <laughs> I don't know. And none of them were people you knew? I didn't know any of them. Well, maybe they were patients of Jeffrey's. Yeah. Yeah, sure. He's a celebrity, he's very famous, and you will really like him if you just forget that you think he's a psychiatrist. I don't know. I don't know. I bet it's Jeff Goldblum. We haven't seen him yet. Unless I'm blind. The nightmare. It really became frightening. Oh my god. It's like the whole city had changed overnight. I just got chills. Everybody here! Come! You're next! They're coming! They're coming! They must have done something. What the heck? They gotta go. Look at all those people. Ah, sponsored by Pepsi again. Now I'll a witness report in when I get to the poster. I don't- Ah, there he is! Driving me nuts. We can have dinner later. No, no, I can't. Do you know where there's a telephone? There's a telephone right around the corner. Elizabeth Driscoll, Jack, I'm check. I was gonna say, I... Don't like this. I love this movie actually. What am I, what am I even saying? It's stressful though. It's stressful. What's so hard about that? I wasn't even talking to you, was I? On the corner. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum is always a win. They don't oh, of jump course all I saw it. No, the man, the man was running poison. down the street. It's romantic. <laughs> Look at him in the reflection. Look how big his face is. He went to have a haircut today. Yes. And the scar was gone. No! Oh, he's a Spock from Star Trek. Don't trust him. Officer, I work for the county. This is a public spirited just No, I will give you my name September's if you will give me your name. People to fit because the I want to be I'm able to report to change this. the world to fit <laughs> the mirror. <laughs> what was my my name is Elizabeth Driscoll, oh, the public health department. Place to eat. Catherine. Come on, Catherine. Oh my god, she's so gone. She's so dead. She's about to become prune rib too. I'm glad you've heard that. David Kibner, Elizabeth Driscoll. Hi. I've been hearing it all week. It's getting very popular. These are like the only four normal people in this whole party. Well, I check. I'm oh telling God. you for the last time. I want you to stop. stop. I want you to stand still. Stand be still quiet. Be quiet. Shut up. Jack. What? How did you Jack. feel about what I just did? 
Why the stories and that? How did you feel? <laughs> you were probably shocked. You wanted to shut your feelings off. With that sound design with the car going by to like increase the tension, and then as it goes, the, the tension's relieved was really good. Just want to let you guys know that I appreciated that. It's like there's some kind of hallucinatory flu going around. People seem to get over it in a day or two. All I can do is treat the symptoms. It's because they die. They become prune caged. Oh man, he's at the trash. Do you think he's a body snatcher? Imagine if he drops your book. It's just actually been dest it's actually destroyed. World is colliding. Is that what it is? I don't see that how that would help. She's just slapping. I'm better now. You know. Oh, by the way, thank you for that plant you gave me last time. No. Um, what? Are they both snatched? Are they both repruned? Prune caged? I know, um, the guy with the beard is. But is she now too? What happened? Jeffrey! <laughs> Try it one more time. Try it one more time. See you tomorrow morning. Don't leave her. 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 Gonna suffocate. Uh, what the heck? My nose. <laughs> My nose is bleeding. Really, that's priority number one. Just throw that away. Just chuck it in the trash. Just burn it at the stake. I don't know. Destroy it. What kind? Joke is this. It's not a joke. What is it? Uh, don't go close to it. Oh, Jack. Who are you calling? Elizabeth? Why? <laughs> why are you calling Elizabeth? Yeah, why? At least it's gonna get her out of the house. Get over there. No, get over there. No, why would you want to lie down and we're in sight of the body? Um. So I thought she was normal because she was acting normal, but I guess maybe they can't act normal. It's alive. Oh, no, she is normal, okay. <laughs> he does like the Spock thing. I can't do it, but greetings. <laughs> Live long and prosper. That's what he says, right? Live long and prosper. Oh, never mind. They look like creaky stairs, though. Oh my god, that shot. That was pretty cool. Oh. Elizabeth. No! Elizabeth. Wake up. Interesting. So everyone's connected to a, uh, a snatched. A prune cage. Everyone's connected to a prune cage. That's interesting. So, do you think there's like... Everyone who is prune cage is lying somewhere asleep in a coma. Do you think it's just like a new thing that they can do? Oh man. Oh. Dude, get out of the house. 
Get out. Go, 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 go. Basic dollar check. You've got some friends who enjoy playing practical jokes. I don't have any friends, Dr. Kibner. <laughs> Fair enough. The garbage truck has all the secrets. I know it. This movie is also going to make me paranoid of just people on the streets. I'm going to walk around going, are you, are you a prune cage? Are you prune cage? Like, what's the deal with you guys? To pick up some of her clothes. All right. It's a plan. It's a plan. No. This guy's so dead. Whenever someone enters the frame, I get stressed. Nancy, you saw it open its eyes. It looked right at me. And Belichick, you saw its eyes open. No, I saw its nose bleed. Well, if you saw its nose bleed... I think my dog's at the door, so I'm just going to pause it. Pepsi! Coming to watch the end of Body Snatches with me? So this is what's happened so far, okay? This is there have there have been prune caged. A lot of people have been prune caged. Some some survivors. The main character is called Elizabeth. Uh, I want her and Matthew to be boyfriend and girlfriend. And yeah, it's really creepy. Are you sure you can handle it? You're only eight years old. I mean, this movie is seven plus. You okay with it? It almost happened to me. Look. So they are being duplicated. Get away from those flowers. This Dutch angle is a little bit concerning. Oh my god. The better. I knew he was prune caged. I said it when he stood next to the dumpster. Ships. I've never expected True. metal ships. He did an Independence Day. He expected a metal ship. Hello. Now I'm suspicious of Matthew. Are you serious? No, I'm gonna ask you to stay by your phone for a while. I'm gonna have somebody call you back and take down everything you know. All right, thank you. I am so stressed. Out. You've been consistently late, Elizabeth, and you're behind in your work. So I'll do the test for you. No! He's... He's prune caged. I'd like to suggest that we meet in Union Square. We can't talk over the phone. Right away. Nope. Don't meet. Do not meet. I like that they didn't really show him. Made it more secretive. And Mr. Bunnell, we're asking for your discretion from now on because this whole thing might be a baiting. They're trying to not get him to talk. I think everyone's been infected. She all right. She better now. Much better now. Oh my god. No, no. I want everybody to see that I'm back to myself again. No. No, wait. Please. I'll see you soon. I hope. Oh my god. That was creepy. The garbage truck again. It's taking, I feel like it's either taking the real bodies. I think it's taking the real bodies and disposing of the real bodies, if it's possible to do. Did you know I used to have a fear of swallowing pills whole? So I used to bite them instead, which was super gross. But I used to be scared that if I swallowed any sort of pill, like an Advil or a Tylenol or anything, that it would get stuck in my throat and I would die. So I would never swallow them whole. <laughs> Fun little fact. 
Can I give the Bella checks a ride? No, I'm not going back there. We'll just get him. To get out of here, imposter. I thought you were... First, I forgot. I forgot that he was a stupid prune cage. The quiet, heartbeat-esque sound. Really stressful. No! Matthew, wake up, buddy. Ew, ew, ew. This is how the uh, duplicates are made. Oh my god, that's so gross. That looks like skin. That's a head. Ew. That looks so good, but ew. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is really creepy. I don't think I'm gonna fall asleep tonight. I'm gonna think that someone's getting born in my room on the floor. Imagine looking at that. They grow out of those pods. They cut our power. Why was them turning that chair just creepy on its own? That was... Oh. Operator, I was dialing direct. I'll try the number for you, Mr. Bunnell. Oh. They look too human. He can't do it. Never- Oh! 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 Oh, they really did not have to show a close-up, did they? Oh, that was really gross. Oh my god, run! Run faster! Oh. Good hiding spot. The framing too, all their eyes are between the stairs. That is so... Cool. That is terrifying. It's like zombies, but they're silhouetted, which makes them creepier. Jesus! That's not Jesus, that's a helicopter. But good try. I am your blood bastard. They're both dead. Imagine how exhausted these guys are. Haven't slept in so long. Well, I guess it's just been one night. These are the real ones because Matthew was, Matthew's face was caved in. It's all alive, it's all naked, sir. Guaranteed action here, this is it. Guaranteed. It's all alive, it's all naked. Hey, come on back here. This is it. Interesting that it stopped on the watch when the body snatchers, uh, her husband Jeffrey was looking at a TV with it looked like a watch on it too. Interesting. Don't know really what it means, but maybe someone can let me know if it does mean anything at all. Stupid taxi driver. Never trust a taxi driver. Sorry, taxi drivers, but in movies, never trust them. What is happening? These are all body snatchers. Oh, oh, I don't like it. So stressful. Ew, why would you kick it? Ew, why would you, ew, what is that? Don't sneeze. Ayo! I'm glad. Wanted them together from the start. Also, but this could just be because of all the trauma that's happening. A little comfort, you know? 
those pods. Are we gonna see Jeff Goldblum? You have to stay awake. Don't answer the phone. Actually, it could be Jeff Goldblum. Take one. Take five. Five? That is a little excessive. No. But are they real? Oh, no! David, don't let them touch her! David, don't let them touch her! No! Oh, no, no! Scariest part of the movie by far. Function of life is survival. <laughs> nice. They can't pretend because they tried that last time and it didn't work. Lost Jack. We got separated. Oh, man. Elizabeth! No! She's such a faker. Okay. Okay. I don't trust her. Da 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 da. XB25, XB25, station 5, come in. This is incredibly stressful. Oh my god, the ultimate test. Ew. Ew. Dude, he's fast. She's fast too. I mean, the truck is going pretty slow, but that's a sprint. Heck of a sprint. Now, is the truck driver going to stop because they themselves are a prune cage? Oh no, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he said it back finally. Took him a while. <laughs> Why this song? Where would you go in this instance? Hypothetically, you were in this situation, where would you go? That's actually like a question that I think is very interesting. And if you would like to answer that question, please do so. This is so awesome, what the heck? It's so hopeful. I got chills. I got chills. No! No, don't run, act normal. She's so changed. Elizabeth has literally been snatched. Ew. It's not her, it's a fake one. Or is she just... Okay. Nothing to be afraid of. No, she's actually dead. He's gonna roll them all over, isn't he? Oh, never mind. It literally looks like a weed farm or something like that. Like an illegal greenhouse weed farm. He has to use that axe. What's he gonna use it for though? So you're gonna do just like karate chop jump it. Let it burn. Ooh. Burn the pods. Oh, ew. That's so gross. Why does she have to have no clothes on? <laughs> He should be a secret agent or something. He's got some moves. Dang it. I thought I was gonna do a big explosion. I don't see this guy getting out of here. We'll get him. We'll get him. <laughs> Stay awake forever. That flashlight is the weakest. Oh, okay. I'm gonna say that flashlight was basically not even on. It was so weak. Everyone's so lifeless.
What if she's faking it? No, she's not faking it. Am I stupid? Why would she be faking it? She just did the weirdest scream ever. Human can't make that scream. I like the sign in the front in the foreground. Run. This is like Among Us, but the opposite. <laughs> you know? Everyone's an alien and the imposter is the normal one. I guess normal now is in context normal is the alien. Matthew? Matthew. Hold up. Okay, good. can't just end like that are you, he 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 became a prune cage he prune caged so the police officer did find him under the pier then that's why the cut was kind of weird and that was my reaction to invasion of the body snatchers or invasion of the prune cages depending on what you want to call them i think the more scientific definition is the prune cages and I also think I have run that joke way farther than its course ever intended it to, so I promise I will stop calling them prune cages and they will be called the body snatchers from now on unless I forget in my review, which I may as well, or which I may probably will do, so I'm sorry if I do and you're getting annoyed that I'm saying prune cages. <laughs> that movie was so good. I did not expect that movie to be as good as I, it was. Like... Every time I do a review, I have to remind myself that you guys are suggesting movies that you all love. And so I don't I don't know why I go into them thinking they're going to be like good movies, but not amazing movies. Like almost every movie that I've watched so far in this channel, I have absolutely adored. And this movie was w like absolutely amazing. And I was looking at I watched the whole credits because the credits are like five seconds long no one worked on this movie this movie was like worked on by two people and their dog like that's crazy it must have been such a low budget movie but the concept works so well for a low budget movie make it like the possibility of aliens being just looking like normal people is such a simple concept but it's super super creepy because i think one of the creepiest things at least for me is seeing something that looks human not be human and in the thing john carpet is the thing which i have seen and i love it's the same with the thing that suspense of who is a real person who is not and this movie is the exact same thing who is a real person who is a body snatcher and i loved the suspense they were able to kind of get out of this concept and they didn't wring the concept dry everything that they did in the movie felt very real to the story and i loved it something that i really want to touch on quickly before maybe some people get disinterested in my review and i really want to just praise a lot is the sound design the sound design in this movie was like a masterpiece of sound design the actual score itself while not really present in the movie it was a more of a back set and a backdrop for the rest of the sound design and it's something that i haven't really seen before or heard before i guess and it was it was really really good like most of the sounds in this movie was not score it was like swing set phones clocks cars going by people's footsteps um something swinging like a sign swinging or something like that like but the sounds in the movie instead of uh, having a score dramatic score and the most dramatic score was the bagpipe scene when he was going to get the um when he was going to the ship that was the biggest amount of score that i've seen everything else was very in movie sounds and it really grounded me as an audience member 
into the movie because everything that the characters could hear, I could hear. And the score was very simple. Um, it was like sometimes it was just like a heartbeat, basically, like boom, boom, like boom, 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 like a constant heartbeat that maybe got quieter or louder, louder a little bit. And it would stop when someone falls asleep or something like that. And yeah, this the music and the sound design in this movie, I don't think I can praise it enough. It just really brought more tension to this movie that already had a lot of tension and it made the tension even higher just because the sounds in the movie were amplified for an audience member and it just made everything more creepy and more eerie and feel a little bit more uncomfortable. It was really good and I really appreciated, appreciated the sound design. So yeah, that's my praise of the sound design. Also, the shots I thought in this movie were really good and really creative. Some of the shots, like when he pokes, um, when uh, Matthew pokes his head out of the doorway when he's going to rescue Elizabeth for the first time, and it's like a down shot, but then it kind of like scrolls down his body and looks up. I don't really know how to describe it. Like that shot was so good. And then there's some, there were some like doorway shots, like the first doorway shot with Elizabeth and Joff and Jeffrey. And she's sitting on the bed, but you can't see her besides the hand that holds the bud and then him. It's like that shot was so good. It kind of almost foreshadowed him becoming the bud. And she obviously was not there because she was giving him the bud and he was, you know, that masterful. There were some shots that I thought were a little weird in this movie, though. I think most of the shots were amazing, but there are some shots that were weird. There are some really good foreshadowing shots, like when the axe was on the wall, when Matthew was climbing up the, the ladder and there's the red axe there. I thought he was going to grab that axe because you can't just show an axe without someone using it in a movie, usually. And he passed it, and then he got another axe. So I guess the axe was used as foreshadowing. It caught me off guard that it was foreshadowing instead of him just using that axe. But there were some other weird shots that maybe had some symbolism or meaning behind them that I just didn't pick up with this watch through, such as when Matthew takes darts out of the dartboard, he leaves one yellow dart in the dartboard and the camera decides to zoom in on the dartboard swinging with the yellow dart on it. And I don't know if that was if that is some sort of metaphor, or symbolism or foreshadowing or something like that. Um, it just confused me why they decided to linger on the dartboard if it didn't really have anything to do with the rest of the movie, unless it did. In which case, I'm sorry that I'm wrong, but please explain it to me down below in the comments. But yeah, the the uh, practical effects for this movie as well were mind-blowing. And again, this concept, you don't need that many effects because the concept itself lends to a low-budget movie. It's just, you just get a bunch of people and make them show no emotion. Now I am body snatcher. I am body snatcher. Yeah, I was the body snatcher the whole movie, you know? <laughs> Such a good actor. Nominate me for an Oscar. <laughs> yeah, but the when practical effects were needed, they delivered. Those pods were disgusting. The people that came out of those pods, especially ex especially the part where Matthew is sleeping and the pods are making the three other people that are sleeping, it was horrific to watch. Like, I think that's going to be in my nightmares for the rest of my whole life until I myself become a body snatcher. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was so gross. And especially when he smashes his face. Why did they have to show me that? They didn't have to do that to me. They didn't have to burn that image into my mind. I've already seen Midsummer, and I already am disgusted by people's faces getting smashed and this one just kind of brought those memories back. It gave me some PTSD, you know what I'm saying? If you haven't seen Midsummer, there's also a face smashing scene. Sorry for the spoilers. I should say spoiler warning. It's a little too late now, but sorry. <laughs> yeah, but the concept for this movie was was really, really cool and it wasn't really what I expected either expected either it was um i thought we were gonna see these aliens and i thought we, they were gonna be like actual aliens but it was really cool that they were just pods that kind of became humans and it was something that i didn't expect and so it was very cool to see that little twist that i didn't actually think was going to happen the ending of this movie okay the ending of this movie i 
honestly do not know if I liked it or not. I loved the movie up until he screams, Matthew screams at the end, and then I am conflicted by the ending. I was pretty sure Matthew was not going to escape. I was very confident in my guess that he was not going to escape because everything was just so drear and so drab and how is he going to get out of the city he's one person there's no way at, at, at like all times he's not going to show emotion and like falling asleep there's so many pods now he's definitely going to become a thing but at the they kind of set up the ending to make you think that he was still a person especially because he went to go visit elizabeth and he looked at her like he was longing for her and then he left but then that kind of confuses me now that he's a body snatcher because i know that they all re they retain their memories and they retain their thoughts and everything like that but then why isn't elizabeth seeking out matthew you know that's what's confusing me about this if he is a body snatcher which i think he is because he did the scream and it's a cool twist then why isn't elizabeth also tr like looking at him in the same way you know it just confused me and maybe it is because she has a boyfriend Je jeffrey and that is why she's not interested in him but she literally says i love you and then he says i love you back and then they like make out you know maybe more than make out before you know you know what i'm saying right so she would still have those memories so why isn't like i'm just confused so if i shouldn't be confused then yeah but the ending confused me a little bit and then I was a little bit, it felt kind of like a tacked on ending, like the ending was only there to surprise you. And honestly, I would have liked the ending better, I think, now that I think about it, if he was still alive and just hiding out among everyone, because that would be really cool and really kind of like tense, a tense ending and also a really sad ending. But I think this ending kind of just tacked on like a surprise, like shock value, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know how much I like the ending. Maybe I'll have to watch it a couple more times, which I probably will because this movie was, again, amazing. But yeah, overall, I love this movie. Why am I, Why does it feel like I'm ending it? I'm not ending my review yet. I still have to go through the cast. But like, yeah, the ending was just iffy for me. I don't know. It was iffy for me. Okay, cast time. Brooke Adams as Elizabeth. I was confused because I thought she was the main character. But I don't, I think Matthew was the main character. And the movie sets it up so that it seems like Elizabeth is the main character. At least for me, I thought she was the main character until about halfway through the movie when it started to focus on Matthew a lot more. And so um, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I was just like, oh, I thought this movie was about Elizabeth, but it's kind of about Elizabeth and Matthew's story. But Matthew is more center stage in that story. You know what I'm saying? But Brooke Adams did a phenomenal job as Elizabeth. She was just overall really good. She sold her fear. She sold her lack of emotions. And when she did show emotions, she sold that too. Um, yeah, obviously the acting is like old timey acting. If You know what I'm trying to say when I mean old timey acting? Like, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Never mind. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have much to say about Brooke Adams as Elizabeth. She was just really good in the role and there weren't really many flaws in any of the acting or actors abilities in this movie and i don't think i've seen any of them before besides jeff goldblum and leonard nimoy i don't I think that's how you say his name but like this feels like one of if this like jeff goldblum in this movie which i'll get to in a second it feels like it was one of his first roles because this movie it feels too low budget for jeff goldblum at his height, like Jurassic Park, Jeff Goldblum, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, Donald Sutherland as Matthew was really amazing. He was a great character. Um, his, like, his motivation, he was very motivated in this movie. He kind of just did everything, and he was, he was like, the leader. He was just really good. Um, again, I'm kind of sad that he became a... Even though I thought he was going to become a body snatcher, I'm sad that he became a body snatcher. Um, and he had some pretty funny and quippy lines, like, speed, how much does it say? And then it was like, take one, take five, you know? Like, some of that stuff was really funny. I thought he did a great job. Let's see. Jeff Goldblum as Jack. Jeff Goldblum is always 
amazing. He's always a win. Again, in this role, he was great. He's always good in a role where he can just kind of talk. I feel like that's what Jeff Goldblum is good at. He's just good at like talking and being a presence on screen. And I feel like he kind of stole the show whenever he was on screen. So in that case, maybe it was bad casting because it kind of took the spotlight off of the main characters and onto him whenever he was on screen. And he was my favorite character when he was on screen. But that being said, it's really awesome to see him in this role. And it seems like he was enjoying it and having fun. Everyone in this cast seems like they're having fun in this role. Leonard Nimoy, 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 Nimoy. I'm so sorry. I know he plays Spock and he's probably like, he's like a legend and I just can't say his last name, maybe even his first name. I'm so sorry, Star Trek fans. I'm, I'm actually really sorry. Uh, as David, the psychiatrist, I knew he was a body snatcher. I didn't think he was a body snatcher. And then the camera pans with him and he's leaning against one of those trash cans, which is like what they use to clean up the bodies and stuff like that. And I was like, he's definitely a body snatcher. And then they didn't really bring it up for a while. And I was like, either the movie has forgotten about that or that just wasn't important or they're leading up to something. And I just thought maybe I was reading too much into the scene. And then he gets in the car with Jeffrey. And I was like, I guessed it right. Yeah, he was really good in the role again. That's <laughs> that's, that's kind of uh, everyone. Oh, yeah. And Veronica Cartwright as Nancy. She was really fun. Um, I'm glad that she didn't become a body snatcher and that she managed to live among everyone for so long. And that is kind of the reason why I'm a little peeved about the ending. Because she, if she managed to do it, Matthew could have done it as well. So... Yeah, that is, she <laughs> blamed Nancy for me being mad at the end. <laughs> um, Veronica did a great job and you could tell that she was, you could, like, she felt like very emotional, but I feel like that's because her eyes were very big. I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but her eyes felt big, but they also like but very emotional and I could really connect with her the most on the emotional level. Interesting to think about actually. Yeah, weird. But I feel like eyes tell the, tell your emotions the most. And so if you have bigger eyes, more emotion kind of comes out, you know? Interesting. Maybe that's like a bad thing to say. I'm sorry if that's a bad thing to say, but I feel like that is true. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything. Before I end this review, don't know why I slapped the desk. I'm going to ask my dog. Hey, Hux. What did you think of the movie? Yeah? Do you want to give your opinion to everyone? They're all right there, watching. No? You were asleep the whole time? I told you to watch the movie. I, I explained to you what happened. You don't want... And you just didn't watch it? I'm so sorry. I know that some of you may really want Huxley's advice. And, like... Like, when she speaks, it's like... It's like some sort of, like, heavenly being talking to you you know it's like she is a divine speaker when she wants to speak she's just very shy so i'm sorry that you can't get her input today i'll try another day i don't know if it's ever going to happen though but i i'm not going to make guarantees but i will try my best to to give let make her give her input on one of these movies one day and <laughs> yeah that is my reaction to the invasion of the body snatchers the 1978 version if you want to watch the uncut reaction, just head over to my Patreon. I have uncut reaction for this movie as well as a lot of other movies I have just covered and a lot more movies to come. It's not on there yet, but they will be on there eventually when those movies come out onto YouTube. And if you are watching the uncut reaction, thank you so much for watching. It means a lot. And again, thank you so much. <laughs> I guess for and thank you so much for watching. It means a lot for you to watch. And if you made it this far into the review, thank you so much for listening. It means a lot, again, for you to just listen to me talk and talk and then listen to Huxley not talk, which I know is really mean. Like, why wouldn't she talk? She was with us in the room, right? But yeah, thank you so much for watching and if you made it this far for listening. And I will see you next week for my next movie reaction.